South Sudan's army is urging the ceasefire monitoring team in the country to carry out an investigation into the latest clashes between soldiers and opposition forces. The clashes began on Thursday last week and only subsided on Sunday. CGTN's Patrick Oyet reports. The violation of the ceasefire started just a day after the final peace deal was signed in Ethiopia last week. Fighting erupted between government troops and opposition forces loyal to former Vice President Riyak Machar. South Sudan's army says the clashes took place around Ye River and southern Leech states and that sporadic fighting in the two states went on for three days only ending at the weekend. The government army or SPLA, however, says it's committed to helping the political leadership implement a peace agreement. As the military, we are also still committed to observing the permanent ceasefire and cessation of hostilities agreement. We have firm instructions from our military leadership to observe ceasefire, to remain in our defensive position and notify the concerned bodies in case we are moving logistics, which of course is provided for in the, in the agreement. With all these teething problems, let our citizen not be discouraged. We are not uh, here to violate the ceasefire agreement. We have only uh, been fighting back in self-defense. But opposition forces also claim that they fought in self-defense. The ceasefire monitoring body in South Sudan, also known as Citizen, has put out a message on its Twitter social media platform saying it has received allegations regarding violations of the ceasefire agreement and that an investigation into the report is currently underway. Experts say it's common for parties to violate ceasefire, but what is important is for the violations to be managed well such that clashes don't escalate into a full-scale war. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.